The President, please be seated. Le président. Le président. The chamber is now back in session. Est reprise. Court officer, can you Je invite the witness to start into the chamber? The President, I notice the international co prosecutor is on his feet. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Hier matin, la défense vous a fait part d'un certain nombre de suggestions par rapport aux témoignages qui seront entendus, qui ont été présentés par la défense. Si c'était possible, je demanderais votre autorisation de pouvoir faire mes observations par rapport aux suggestions de la défense. Je vous remercie. Merci, sir. The President, there is a request from the International Co-Prosecutor regarding the process of the testimony of the witnesses on the character of the accused. The Chamber noticed that yesterday Note the International Defense Council raised some suggestions regarding the process of hearing the testimonies of the witnesses on the accused character. And in order to make it certain, the International Defense Council would be able to reiterate again your position or suggestion on the hearing of the testimonies of the witnesses regarding the accused character that you actually 
suggested yesterday Hier, before this chamber. Hier, en effet, fait un certain nombre de propositions devant la chambre. Est-ce que vous pouvez les répéter? Oui, mer Mr. merci, Roux. Monsieur le Président. Uh, thank you, uh, President. Pour une meilleure clarté des For débats, j'ai suggéré en effet I que on laisse le témoin faire une courte déclaration avant qu'on ne lui pose des questions. Je pense que c'est une méthode qui permettra d'aller plus rapidement et de manière plus cohérente. Les témoins savent très bien pourquoi ils viennent ici. Ils viennent pour parler de la personnalité de l'accusé. Je proposais que le président leur pose la question « Que pouvez-vous nous dire de la personnalité de l'accusé et les laisser faire leur témoignage ?» Ça n'était pas autre chose. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Maître Roux, there is one question merci, that I have in relation to your request. Uh, when it comes to uh, Dr. Goldstone, uh, I, am, uh, I, I have been informed by the Witness Expert Support Unit that he uh, wishes to understand the parameters of the testimony he will give, uh, and um, I have not attempted to respond in any way. Is it your intention that he too make a statement uh, along the lines that you summarized uh, for the trial chamber earlier, uh, referring to the purpose of his testimony. Uh, in short, do I need to go back to the witness expert support unit and tell them what I believe the defense wishes him to uh, discuss before the trial chamber? Oui, merci, Mr. Madame uh, le juge. Thank you, Je pense en effet que Your Honor, pour I do le believe indeed that juge Goldstone, for Judge uh, Goldstone, we are différent. looking at a slightly different Des case uh, from the other witnesses. And uh, -nous, we could maybe uh, accompagner son témoignage Accompany par des questions. Uh, uh, nous avons dit questions. très clairement dans, uh, lorsque nous avions donné la liste de nos témoins que nous appelions le juge Goldstone pour qu'il uh, témoigne sur les plaidoyers de culpabilité devant les juridictions pénales internationales. Plus particulièrement, qu'est-ce que les plaidoyers de culpabilité ont pu amener, have been able to bring by way of je dirais comme bénéfice, as a notamment pour la réconciliation, for aux juridictions pénales internationales Quel était le sens du témoignage que nous souhaitions du juge Goldstone Mais effectivement, But pour ce qui le concerne, as far as he is concerned, si on lui pose cette première question, après il pourra question, alors faire une, sa propre déclaration. Voilà. Thank you. That's, uh, assisted me. La juge Cartwright, je vous remercie. De la main a été très utile. The President, the International Co-Prosecutor, you may now proceed. Monsieur le coprocureur international, vous pouvez maintenant poursuivre. Je vous remercie. En réalité, uh, si je me souviens bien, uh, reality, la défense a présenté quatre suggestions, donc un peu plus large que simplement la suggestion concernant la déclaration lue par les témoins. 
Si je reprends ces quatre points, les trois autres du moins, il a été demandé que la déclaration du témoin décédé, M. King, soit lu. Il a été également demandé que soit donné l'autorisation à la défense de lire une décision de justice. On a Abramovitch. Uh, the Abramovich, uh, decision. Et enfin, euh, il a été demandé que And le temps alloué uh, au témoignage de l'expert Génard soit étendu. Alors, je voudrais répondre très rapidement Now, like à ces quatre points, points, en commençant par le plus facile. Euh, concernant la lecture de la déclaration de feu, uh, M. King, of, uh, nous ne n'y opposons Mr. pas. King, à partir du moment où cette déclaration est placée au dossier et où nous aurons la possibilité d'émettre nos observations à l'audience concernant cette déclaration. Concernant la méthode qui est proposée aujourd'hui, à savoir que chacun des témoins qui sont présentés par la défense puisse commencer par la lecture d'une déclaration, nous pensons qu'il ne faut pas déroger à votre pratique concernant l'ensemble des témoins, à savoir que vous posiez les questions et qu'ensuite les parties posent les questions souhaitées également, notamment pour respecter un peu de spontanéité dans les témoignages. Il ne s'agit pas ici de parties civiles qui font une déclaration, mais de témoins sincèrement. Il nous semble qu'il faudrait être garder la cohérence de la pratique qui était celle de la Chambre auparavant. Concernant la lecture d'une décision de justice devant cette cour, une lecture assez extensive d'après ce que j'ai compris, nous souhaitons nous y opposer. Cet arrêt ne constitue pas un élément de preuve en soi. C'est une décision de jurisprudence qui a déjà été versée au dossier, dont la défense pourra faire état dans ses plaidoiries finales. Mais non seulement il ne s'agit pas d'une preuve en tant que telle, mais la question pourrait être débattue de sa pertinence, s'agissant là aussi du plaidoyer de culpabilité, qui n'est pas, que je sache, admis dans les règles internes des CETC. L'aveu selon la règle 87 alinéa 5 des règles internes est soumis devant cette chambre à l'appréciation de la chambre comme tout autre mode de preuve. C'est d'autant plus vrai ici qu'il faut noter la présence des partis civils devant cette chambre et que donc il n'est pas envisagé un plea bargaining comme cela peut l'être devant d'autres juridictions internationalisées ou internationales inspirées de la common law. Et enfin... Concernant l'augmentation du Then, temps de parole ou de débat time, à propos du témoignage de l'expert Génard, uh, les coprocureurs estiment que le temps qui est alloué est suffisant, non seulement pour éviter le caractère répétitif de ce témoignage d'expert, mais aussi de regard à la concision du rapport qui a été produit au dossier par la défense, euh, le rapport de l'expert Génard qui ne fait que 15 pages et dont seuls quelques paragraphes concernent directement S21. À titre de comparaison, hier matin, Maître Roux vous a parlé du temps qui a été consacré à l'examen euh, du rapport de l'expert Craig Etchison, mais ce rapport était nettement plus long, faisait 56 pages par exemple, et comportait de nombreuses notes de bas de page qui soutenaient les propos de l'expert. Voilà nos quatre observations concernant les suggestions faites par la défense et je vous demande d'en tenir compte et vous en remercie.
doing? May we... The President. The International Defense Council, you may now respond. Mr. Roux, uh, thank you, Mr. President. I regret that my colleague from the co-prosecutor's office uh, wasn't able to be here yesterday morning when I provided my observations, was so poorly informed by the other members of the office regarding my requests. I, first point, I never requested that our witnesses read out a statement. I, on the contrary, requested that they may provide a spontaneous testimony as in the system that my colleague knows very well, which is the civil law system. So this point seems to me to be settled and you were poorly informed. De la même and manière, in the same way, you received the wrong information regarding Obrenovic. the Obranovich case. Je uh, never, never asked the de reading Obrenovic. of the Obrenovich ruling. I said very clearly that the defense was vidéo. able to acquire the video de of Obrenovich. the Obrenovich hearing Elle a and, um, pris des extraits de cette vidéo selected excerpts from this video et notamment and in particular le réquisitoire the, du procureur uh, submission dans l'affaire Obrenovich et la défense Obrenovich souhaite and the defense que soit visionné that this cette vidéo be viewed. rien à voir this has avec la lecture to do with the reading, insupportable pour which would be unbearable for everyone, d'une décision of, de jurisprudence. Uh, a decision of jurisprudence. Mais sur but ce point, regarding this point, je rassure I would like le to du reassure the co-prosecutor's office si cela that vous pose if problème this is an issue for you, if this uh, viewing uh, elle is an issue for you, plaidoirie. well then it will be part of uh, my uh, final la statement. De mes arguments. I am free in my Il arguments, me so therefore, but it seemed to me to be preferable that the video be viewed uh, in the context of our current discussions, si but now, if you prefer that I, do, ma only, that I only use it in my final statements, alors vous pas well, then you répondre. will not have the opportunity of addressing it. Tant pis pour vous. Well, too bad for you. Tant pis pour vous. Too bad for you. Quant à dire now, que nous ne now, sommes pas ici dans un plea bargaining, là aussi je regrette bargain, here again I regret que le bureau des co-procureurs uh, ne vous ait pas donné toutes ces informations offers, que nous avons échangé of depuis des mois uh, à ce been, sujet. Uh, and we have been talking about this for months. Et enfin, and, uh, finally, concernant la disposition de M. Génard, uh, qu'est-ce qui vous inquiète uh, what bothers dans you? cette déposition, M. le procureur Qu'est-ce qui pourrait justifier qu'un témoin de la défense that a defense ait moins de temps qu'un témoin de l'accusation uh, Qu'est-ce qui pourrait justifier qu'un expert de la défense ait moins de temps qu'un expert du procureur alors qu'ils sont sur le même sujet Vous êtes si inquiet que cela why are you so worried? Dire, Monsieur Genard? Are you so worried about what Mr. Genard is going to say? And I believe, in fact, that you are je right to be worried. I believe that you are right Mais to be worried. Ma demande, but I would like to stand pas by my request, Genard not temps that, temps that Mr. Genard Monsieur benefit from the same amount Etchison, of speech time as Mr. Il lui faudra Etchison. Beaucoup moins de temps he, que he, he, he will require much less time, in fact, than pertinent. Mr. Etchison in, in order to say things that will be, in the end, much more relevant. Thank you very much. Enjoying. The President, the International Co-Prosecutor, you may respond. Monsieur le Co-Procureur International, vous avez demandé la parole. 
Oui, concernant la lecture d'une déclaration, si effectivement il ne s'agit pas d'une lecture, d'une déclaration spontanée, nous ne n'y opposons pas, vous déciderez ce qu'il convient de faire et quelles questions vous souhaitez poser d'entrée. Concernant euh, la vidéo, Je reposerai la question de la pertinence par rapport au dossier qui nous occupe et m'en remettrai à la sagesse du tribunal à ce niveau-là. Concernant l'expert Génard, rien ne nous perturbe dans son témoignage, mais simplement au dossier, je constate qu'effectivement, le rapport qui est présenté comme support à ce témoignage est extrêmement succinct et, à notre avis, ne nécessite pas qu'un temps supplémentaire soit octroyé. C'est tout ce que je voulais dire. Je vous remercie, M. le Président. So today, the president. Le président. Good morning, Madame Witness. Bonjour, Madame le témoin. What is your name? Quel est votre nom? Witness. My name is Su Sat. Mon nom est Su Sat. Question. Question. How old are you? Quel est votre âge? Response. I am 66 years old. Réponse. J'ai 66 ans. Question. Question. Where is your current address and what is your current occupation? Response. Currently, I lived at Po Sang Sai, Trojo, Stung Sand. I am a retired teacher. Je suis retraité. J'étais enseignante. The president, according to the Graphia report, you have no relationship or affiliation to any party to this proceeding, and that you have already taken an oath before your appearance before this chamber. Is this information correct? Response, that is correct. The president. The Chamber would like to inform you the of your rights and uh, obligations. Madame Sousat, as a witness, Madame you can Soussat, decide not to respond to any questions which you think could self-incriminate you. That is, if you think your statement or response would Si place guilt upon you. However, it is your obligation to only tell the truth that you, of the facts that you have heard or have witnessed or seen personally related to the facts currently being placed before this chamber. The witness, yes. The president. Madame Soussat, can you describe Madame to the Chamber Soussat, the character of the accused, Kang Gekyeu Elias Doj, whom you have known during the time of your plutôt, contact with him? Soussat. Mr. President, I would like to Monsieur inform the Chamber that I was in a study group with Mr. Kang Gek Il for two years. I studied with him for two years, from 59 to 60, and 1960 to 1961. Mr. Kang Gek Il was a person of a good character, loyal and kind and generous, especially he was a good student in his class. I 
head attention on him because he is not the person who concealed his knowledge. He always passed his knowledge to his study group without hiding anything. He provided us the mathematics solutions and also other solutions to the study topics. He was a well-known student in the class, but he had a few friends only. He was a person who was not worried about love affairs. And he was a friend who strengthened and supported other friends in the study. This is my statement, Mr. President. Thank you. The President, you have described the accused character during the time that he studied with you for two years, that is from 1959 to 1960 and from 1960 to 1961. During that period, what year were you in and where? Did you study? Response. We studied at year four and year three, which are equivalent to year eight and nine at the present system. We studied at the Kampung Tom High School or College. The President. You talk about his good character, understanding, kind and generous and with a happy attitude through his friends and his peers within his study group and he parted his knowledge to the group members, especially his uh, excellence in mathematics. However, he was a student with a few friends. I think there is a, like a contradicting situation here. Would you be able to shed light to the chamber? Because due to his generosity, his kindness to others, he should have had more friends. But why he had only a few friends? Response. I did not know the reason for that. Je ne sais pas pourquoi. President, during the time Question. of your study together with him, cette période, vous avez you avec knew of his character through your observation and you have stated so just then. During such time, did he have ever have any conflict verbally or physically with his friends? Avec ses amis, que ce soit classmates or within his peers or with those children within the same village, did you ever observe that situation? Est-ce que donc vous avez vu l'accusé en situation de conflit? Response. Réponse. I did not know regarding that situation at the village level, non, but in his ne, in the class, he never had any conflict or argument with anyone. Village, cas, euh, Question, non, what about his conflict. character toward uh, teachers Et vis -à -vis des enseignants, comment at that uh, college that you studied at year three and four with Au him? Collège, vous étiez what was his character? or attitude toward his teachers or through the school management team. Response. He always respected the teachers and the management team. He had never had any conflict with those people. Question. What about the disciplined 
Was he a punctual student to attend the class regularly during the time of his studying with you? Est-ce qu'il arrivait au cours à l'heure? Response. He was very well punctual and he was never absent. Il n'a jamais été absent. Question. Question. What about the way he spoke to his peers and friends during the time he studied with you? What did you observe regarding his way of speaking? Was the way he spoke uh, humble or docile? Humble, docile. Comment le décririez-vous? Response, as I said, he was a humble and docile person. He was not an animated type. Et docile, ce n'est pas quelqu'un d'agité. Question. Question. From 1962 through the present day, have you had any contact or met him personally? Personnel avec l'accusé. Response. Response. From that time, Réponse. we have not had any non, contact. I cannot recall when he went back to look for me. It was either in 1965 jour, or 66. I only remember that at that time I did not have any children yet. He went to my house in the village. Question. Question. From 1975 to 1979, that is, from and then from the 7 January 79 until the present day, have you had any direct contact with him? The president, please. Answered again. Had you are reminded to votre notice the red lights on the head of the microphone? You had to wait for the red lights to be on, entende. so that your voice can go through the system for the proper record of the transcript, and also it would go through to the interpreter. Comme cela que vous être et que les Mr. Traduire. President, could you please repeat Réponse. your question? Mr. President, est-ce que vous pouvez répéter votre question, s'il vous plaît? The president, le président, the chamber would like to know. La chambre aimerait savoir. During the democratic Cambodia si regime, that is the, from the 17 April 75 to the 6 of January 79, and a period after that, that is after the 7 January 1979 to the present day, had you had any direct contact with him? Response. No, Merci. I have not met non. him. No, je ne l'ai pas rencontré. Question. Another point. Question. Uh, we would like to come back because the uh, one of the information we would like to Je know, uh, did you know anything during the time when he was in uh, the same class as yours at grade 4 and grade 3 in the high school in Kampong Tong? Have you heard anything about Vous that he, uh, he was influenced by the communism when he was in the class? Response, no, I received no information non. at all at Ce that pas time. Chose que su à the president, thank you. Le president, merci. Uh, witness. Your honors, uh, judges, do Merci you have any other question to put uh, to question. the witness? Au if témoin. you have, please. Yeah. 
next um, the floor is given to uh, Judge uh, Lawrence. Vous nous avez dit que l'accusé était venu vous voir en 1965 dans votre maison, et si j'ai bien compris, c'est la dernière fois que vous l'avez rencontré. Ensuite, vous n'avez plus de contact direct. Est-ce que vous pouvez simplement nous dire, si vous souhaitez, ce qu'il était venu vous demander Response, yes, he went to see me in 1965, he told me that he uh, is teaching in Scone. Il m'a dit qu'il enseignait à Scone. Est-ce qu'il vous a demandé d'être enseignante avec lui? Did he ask you to become a teacher with him, along with him? The response, no, uh, there, there was no encouragement because I was already a teacher. Je vous remercie, madame. Je Thank you very much. I have no further questions uh, to put to this character witness. The trial chamber is now giving the floor to the co-prosecutor uh, to uh, put question to the character witness if you uh, would like to do so, and you have only 10 minutes to put questions. The co-prosecutors uh, Mr. President, uh, Your Honours, and good morning, uh, Madame Sosat. Uh, the co-prosecutor does not have many questions for you, but we have only one. Uh, you described to the chamber a while ago that you, you were in the same class with uh, Mr. Gang Il only two years, that is from 1959 to 1960, and from 1960 to 1961. And you said that he is a person of a kind, generous, and docile at that time, and helpful to other friends. My question is that uh, other than those question. two years, en de ces deux années, and you said that he is a person of a kindness and open to other friends, did you ever go to his house que vous êtes and chez you lui? get to know some of his family Et members and, and friends at the village? Response, no, no. I had uh, never been to his house, Je but in the study lui. club, there were some Mais friends uh, who uh, understand well or know well about the subject, but they keep for themselves. But for him, he is the one who is transparent about the key to solve the mathematics problem or any science subject he shared with other students in the club. But I do not know uh, his house, but I just know Mais that maison, non, his parents were the uh, fish, um, fishermen in the fishing lot. Pêcheur. The co-prosecutor, uh, based on your experience, only two years in the high school, it seemed to be uh, not very long. Ans, cela une yeah, assez during courte. the education in grade three and grade four, Vous étiez alors en quatrième it is et in en the high school. Au collège. In addition to what 
you observed from his uh, knowledge and his uh, skill in the study? Uh, did you ever notice that his future view or perception toward the future? Have you ever noticed that kind of um, uh, things at that time? Yeah, no. A response. When we were in the same class, I did not observe any of his uh, view or future perception. The co-prosecutor, uh, thank you, uh, the witness and the president. Um, please, uh, Mr. International Co-Prosecutor, the floor is yours. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Dismail, thank you, Mr. President. Madame Soussat, um, Ms. Soussat vous nous aviez dit, you nous avez dit un instant que l'accusé était membre, peut-être même le leader, je ne sais pas, vous allez me préciser, d'un groupe d'études dont vous faisiez partie. Quelle était l'importance de ce groupe aux yeux de l'accusé, uh, étant donné que vous avez dit qu'il était un élève brillant Faire partie de ce groupe était-ce pour lui une façon de se sentir valorisé, d'être reconnu par les autres élèves, ou bien c'était purement désintéressé Response, uh, Mr. Prosecutors, it's not only him, uh, uh, myself uh, was also an Excel student. We did not consider him as the chief of the group. We uh, try to work to study together, no one, even our team leader in the group. Vous avez dit tout à l'heure qu'assez inexplicablement, apparemment, l'accusé n'avait pas beaucoup d'amis. C'est également quelque chose qui a été rapporté par Nick Dunlop dans son livre, à la page 46, dernier paragraphe en anglais où vous aviez dit qu'effectivement il était reconnu au sein de l'école pour sa réussite académique, mais qu'il n'était cependant pas particulièrement populaire. Pensez-vous qu'il ait pu souffrir de cet état de fait A response, I uh, do not know about that because je sais rien. I spend most of the time to focus on our study. Moi, je passais le plus clair de mon temps à me concentrer sur mes études. Je vous remercie. Mr. Dismal, Madame Soussat, connaissez-vous le professeur uh, Ke Kim Hoek, un de ses maîtres depuis 1958 Est-ce qu'il a été également votre maître à cette Was époque he well Response. I was not a student of uh, Professor Kekun but I know, I know I know him. I did not talk to him or met with him, but I just know that he was uh, one of the teachers there. Est-ce que l'accusé vous a parlé de ce Mr. professeur Dismail, et de l'influence qu'il pouvait avoir sur lui Est-ce qu'il avait des relations normales did avec ce professeur no ou des relations privilégiées D'après votre connaissance. Response, yes, 
He never talked about his relationship with his professor, avec, uh, and I uh, do not know whether he uh, was a student of Professor Kekum Hood. Si, uh, Mr. Desmal. Si je comprends bien votre témoignage, d'après vos souvenirs de lui à l'époque, uh, rien time, ne remonte qui pourrait vous faire penser, uh, qui pouvait à l'époque vous faire believe, penser uh, qu'un jour, time, certains de ses professeurs atterriraient à S21 sous la direction de l'accusé. A response, I had no idea non, until I read pas. her the book titled The Lost Exception Executioner, and I know that uh, those teachers and professors end up at S21. Comment avez-vous réagi quand vous avez appris cette nouvelle uh, de la mort de ses professeurs sous sa responsabilité à S21 stunned and terrorized by reading that book. Vous avez dit tout à l'heure que vous n'avez jamais assisté à un épisode où l'accusé aurait perdu le contrôle dans ses relations avec ses collègues d'école. Mais comment réagissait-il si quelqu'un Parmi ses amis ou les autres élèves, anybody, uh, le contredisait au niveau intellectuel. Est-ce qu'il était sans réaction ou est-ce qu'il essayait de persuader l'autre qu'il avait raison Quelle était sa réaction A response, please, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, ask your question again because I uh, did not catch uh, your question. Je voudrais savoir si, dans les échanges entre amis ou entre élèves de l'école, si l'accusé défendait une thèse précise, mais qu'il était contredit par un autre élève qui ne partageait pas son point de vue, comment réagissait-il en général est-ce qu'il n'avait aucune réaction Est-ce qu'il était vexé Est-ce qu'il essayait de convaincre l'autre qu'il avait raison Ou est-ce qu'il essayait de comprendre le point de vue de l'autre élève Response. I did not see him having any quarrel or conflict with anybody. Deux dernières questions très courtes. Est-ce que, Madame Sousa, vous avez été au courant d'une déception amoureuse concernant l'accusé à l'époque où il était à l'école à Kampongtong In response, I did not know about his love failure. Non, I know nothing about that. Et enfin, Mr. Desmond, je voudrais vous demander si l'accusé like était à l'époque secret sur ses origines uh, chinoises, sur son passé, origins, sur ses activités past, politiques et sur ses ambitions. 
Est-ce que vous avez perçu qu'il s'intéressait aux questions politiques de l'époque ou était-il seulement concentré sur ses études L'école ne parlait pas de ce genre de questions. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions. Thank you, Mr. President. I have Merci. no further questions. Thank you very much indeed. Please, uh, Council for Civil Martino, Party Group Number Three. <coughs> Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Madame, Messieurs. Um, uh, thank you. Good morning, votre chambre uh, Mr. President. Uh, les... Honest. Your chamber knows that the civil parties that are boycotting the hearing have asked their lawyers to be present in order that the uh, witnesses who are called and to whom the lawyers cannot ask uh, put any questions be informed about the reason of the absence of the civil parties. So I'd like to ask you, Mr. President, to be able to say a few words in order to explain to this witness why there are no civil parties present here today in this hearing. The President, the trial chamber indicated yesterday in responding to the Council for Civil Parties that the trial chamber uh, do not give the reasoning uh, to uh, the absence of the civil party in the hearing of the character witnesses or the character experts. So it seems uh, very clear yesterday, and there's no uh, reason to uh, inform to the character witness about the ruling of the chamber that caused the civil party not to attend in the hearing. The trial chamber indicated clear that it is given in the written ruling and uh, it is listed in the written decision of the trial chamber when it is completed and issued. Um, uh, Ms. Martino uh, uh, understood uh, what was uh, said by the chamber yesterday. However, uh, in such an important um, trial, I believe that it is uh, important that all witnesses be informed about the absence or the uh, suppression of a right uh, uh, decision taken against the civil parties. Uh, in order not to extend this hearing, I just like to say that the civil parties and Madame the witness probably doesn't know this, have deposited this letter and will provide it in due form, but anybody wishing to be informed about this letter, uh, it is uh, enough to read the press of this morning. The President, uh, next, the trial chamber uh, is giving the floor to the uh, defense counsel to put questions to the character witness, um, please. Thank you, Mr. President, your honors, and the witness. Bonjour, Madame le témoin. Um, Madame Soussat, I would like to ask you a, a question. Madame Soussat, je when you were in the same uh, uh, study group with Kang Gek Il, and uh, Kang Gek Il, when he referred to you or called you, uh, did he call you by your name? 
and also at the friends uh, in the groups. Uh, could you please um, elaborate? Response, uh, Mr. Council, he called me auntie and he called another friends by the name. There were, there were three male students and two female students, but he called me auntie, not by my name. So, uh, council, different councils, please indicate a bit further why did he not call you by your name, et but he called you auntie instead. The microphone of the witness is not activated. Micro pour le témoin, vous plaît. Respond, Réponse. I uh, do not pay uh, much attention, but maybe he uh, tried to call me following my niece and my nephew, but I don't know the reason that he called me auntie. And he also called my husband uncle. Uh, different councils, thank you. During the time Question. you Merci. know uh, Kang Kek Eu, have you had any idea about his uh, living condition in his family? Uh, was he in a well-off family or a poor family at that time? I uh, did not know well about his family background, but he is a very uh, person who likes to save uh, money. Uh, I have no further questions, but I would like to give the floor to my uh, colleagues to put questions. The President, please, Mr. Frank Soru, the floor is yours. Merci, Monsieur le President. Bonjour, Madame le Témoin. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci uh, good morning, Madam. En fait, je voulais juste vous demander est-ce qu'il est bien exact que vous-même vous avez travaillé pour une organisation des droits de l'homme pendant plusieurs années ici à Phnom Penh Response, Mr. Council. I used to work for Likado organization for 10 years from 1995 to 2005. What was your function? Response. I was a human rights trainer in that oui, organization. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai pas... Um, Mr. Pas Mr. President, I have no more questions. Uh, si ce que if only uh, Madame Soussat aurait to know that Mrs. Soussat chambre, would have liked to ask the chamber un droit de visite avec of a uh, right to visit the accused now Je that she has testified. I specify that this is a common practice before international criminal courts. Uh, once the witnesses have uh, completed très their testimony, they often ask for the authorization to be able to visit the accused. This, of course, could not uh, take place before Et maintenant, this uh, testimony. Uh, testimony, this hearing, and now you are the ones to be able to grant this authorization.
I have not heard the intention of this witness asking for the visit, and I only heard it from the defense counsel, Mr. Rou, yourself. Madam witness, is it your intention to visit the accused as requested and suggested by the defense counsel, Mr. Rou? Response. I would like to meet him for a brief moment, if possible. Probably it's going to take 10 minutes, if I am permitted. Avec la permission de la chambre. The President, the Chamber will consider your request and you will be informed in due course. And if we grant your request, then we would make necessary arrangement for you to meet him after the adjournment of the hearing. And your testimony on the accused character has come to an end now. The Chamber is grateful for your participation as summoned by the Chamber. You are now excused, and you can return to a location you wished. You can also participate in this proceeding in the public audience if you wish. And today the Chamber will discuss and make our decisions regarding your request for a visit to the accused. Because at the moment uh, we are still in the process of a, of a trial proceeding, you are now excused. Mr. Thibsheim is now the called into the chamber. The President, good morning, Mr. Witness. Is your name Teb Saim? The Witness. Good morning, Mr. President. Your Honor. Good morning, Councils, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and good morning, teacher. He's my teacher. Bonjour, uh, My name is Tepsai, Mr. President. Question. Mr. Tepsai, how old are you? Monsieur Tepsem, quel est votre age? Response. I am 61 years old. J'ai 60 ans. The President, uh, Mr. Tepsai, 
you are instructed not to respond quickly to my Je question. You have to wait for the red light on the head of the mic microphone to be on before you can speak so that your voice will go through the system effet, for the proper record or the transcript and that it will go through to the interpreters so that they are able to translate or interpret it into English and French for the participants of the proceedings. Do you understand that? Question, where is your current address and what is your occupation? Response, currently I live at Tassain village, Sotep village de commune, Jinpre district, Kampung Cham province. I am a rice farmer. Je suis cultivateur de riz. President, according to the Graphius report, you have no relationship or affiliation with any party to the proceedings and that you have already taken an oath before appearing before, appearing before this chamber. Is this information correct? Response. Yes. Your in the information you have given is Les correct. I am not a relative to any party to this proceeding or to Mr. Deutsch. Je suis parent d'aucune des personnes, euh, aucune des personnes de ni à Monsieur Deutsch. As a witness, the chamber would like to remind you of your rights and obligations. As a witness, you can decide not to respond to any questions which could self-incriminate you. And as a witness, you are obligated to speak only of the truth that you have heard, have seen personally. President, Mr. Tepsai, would you be able to describe to the chamber of your contact with the accused during which time did you have contact and for how many years and where did you have contact with him and the reasons of your contact with him? Response. Réponse. My contact with him started in 1965. Je l'ai rencontré en 1965. 1966. He was a teacher at the Jung Bray School in Kampong Cham Province. He was my teacher at the time. Il était mon enseignant à l'époque. Question. So your teacher-student relationship Donc, vous avez existed une for how long? Enseignant à euh, élève. Pendant combien de temps est-ce qu'il a été votre enseignant? Response. It started from 1965 to 1966. Jusqu'en 1966. And it continued from 66 to 67. To 66 à 67. And then to 68. So the total period is three years. Donc pendant trois années. Question. When you studied with him, Lorsque vous avez which class were you lui? in? Vous étiez dans quelle classe? Which grade were you in? Dans quelle année? Please, uh, you can only speak when you see the red light on the microphone. I ask you again, during your three-year contact with him, what grade were you in? And which subject did he teach at that school? Response. In 1965, to 1966, he studied, he taught me while I was in year three, and he taught mathematics and geometry. Question. 
question. And question. from 66 to 67. Et de 66 à 67. Response. Réponse. From 66 to 67. De 66 à 67. I was in the second modern grade. And he taught me my moderne, literature. Et il m'enseignait la littérature Khmer. Question. And Question. what about from 66 to 67? Et de 66 à 67? 67 to 68 corrects the interpreter. Pardon, de 67 à 68 corrige l'interprète. Response. Réponse. From 67 to 68, he taught me in de 67 the à 68. first modern grade, and he taught mathematics. Et il enseignait les mathématiques. So he was my teacher for the whole three-year period. Donc il a été mon enseignant pendant toute cette période de trois ans. Mr. Tip Sam, can you Président, tell Monsieur the Tep chamber Sam, the character of the accused Gang Gek Yew alias Doj through your contact that you have observed during the period as you mentioned that is from 65 to 68 in the student teacher relationship uh, what was your observation on his élève. character? Et euh, que pensez-vous de son Response. sa personnalité? In my student Réponse. teacher relationship within the year that I described, that is from 65 to 68. De 1965 à 1968. He was a humble person. Il était un homme humble. He did not humble care about the classes of the, the social classes of the students, he was mindful and attentive to the uh, students. He Il did not apply his rights as he has a teacher to the students. He almost saw the equality in teacher-student relationship. Il les traitait quasiment sur un pied d'égalité. Questions? Question. Did you observe any other things about his character? For ah, example, was he a mean person? Chose, and that you were in méchant? the third, second, and first et grade, so you were actually at the top level of the et, education uh, system already. Because not many Cambodian lycée, people at that time could reach that level of education. So, based on your knowledge, what was your observation on his uh, teaching character, for example, regarding uh, poor students or vis -vis those students, students who could not study well, or, or those students who were not punctual and or absent ou a lot, what would be his reaction to these uh, circumstances? Response. Réponse. Through my three-year observation, pendant les trois années avec lesquelles, pendant lesquelles j'ai étudié avec lui, everything he taught us was according to the curriculum. He was strict and punctual on timing. Du, uh, programme. Il respectait les horaires et l'emploi du temps. And he was meticulous with what he did. C'était un homme méticuleux. And that earned respect from faire. every student of his. Et il était respecté de Question. Did he élèves. ever express his reaction or uh, any attitude toward uh, lazy students? Il jamais réagi, or uh, students who violated school disciplines, for instance? Ou qui ne respectaient pas la discipline de l'école, de l'établissement. For, stu for students Réponse. who were lazy or who violated the school disciplines, he did not uh, mistreat them. He only reminded them pas. to study hard. 
Il les encourageait à s'appliquer. To form study groups, for instance, and to be attentive to the subjects that are being taught. Et à taught. suivre avec soin else. les matières qui étaient enseignées et rien d'autre. Questions. Besides uh, these observations, did you observe anything else? For example, his attitude toward a poor student or to his uh, vis -à -vis, par exemple, des teachers or to the peers de ses collègues à lui, des autres enseignants, or those who had difficulty Ou in their livelihood. Vis -vis de ceux qui avaient des difficultés What was his actual euh, attitude about those people Quel who were inferior economically vis -vis than him? Des personnes qui venaient de couches sociales Response. inférieures à la sienne. For poor students, s'agissant des élèves it is my observation pauvres, that he taught them freely. Vu he would invite Il those students à ces personnes gratuitement. Il invitait to ces provide private et il leur donnait cost free of charge and he parted his knowledge to the students so that they would be well educated question what about his uh, social interaction for example among his peers and the teachers or the school avec les autres enseignants ou alors avec le personnel de l'établissement scolaire What was your observation regarding these circumstances? Response. Réponse. Within his peers, it is my observation de avec ses that he never had any argument or conflict with any of his peers. À un ou à un Whatever avec he, ses, their attitudes toward him, he never leur comportement vis -à -vis take those lui, things seriously or ce dispute au it with them. No, et not like that. He only eux, asked them to assist the students. Il leur juste There were two other élèves. teachers who was his friends and actually one was the principal, Mr. Korn, and it was his friend. Korn, He was his friend. Questioned. Question. What about his interaction uh, at the social setting, for example, within the village environment? Ou, ou dans What was village. your observation regarding euh, his uh, social interaction with other people outside the school environment? Avec des en du, Did he de ever scolaire? have any argument with villagers or what was his uh, attitude towards them? Ou quel était son comportement vis -vis de ces personnes? Response. In his uh, social Réponse. way of living, de ces It's a bit hard for me to uh, say because we lived a distance soir, apart. Car nous so I could not uh, say anything regarding this Donc matter. Je ne suis pas en de dire Question. Question. Besides his uh, teaching activity and uh, his good intention uh, and kindness toward the students, and besides his uh, gentle attitude, de ses élèves et son aspect euh, doux et compréhensif vis-à-vis -vis de ses élèves. Did he achieve anything else during his uh, tenure as teacher at that school? Il a réussi à faire d'autres choses pendant Response. son travail par, en sa capacité d'enseignant. Réponse. Pendant les trois années, I observed his focus. Son élève on teaching the students, on his punctuality and his support for the students, for instance, by providing free classes, his extra classes free of charge, and he, his encouragement for the students to study hard. Question. What about the politics? During the time that you studied with him, that is a three-year period, what was his political view or his teaching? Did he ever express his political vision or view 
That's whether he had any tendency toward the red path or toward communism during the time. Il avait des communistes déjà that is, à during the 66, 67 or 68. Because during that time there was a tendency among the teachers at various schools, also among the rice farmers. There were plenty of contentious discussions on the doctrine of communism. So during your study with him, did you ever discuss or hear him speaking about communism? Response. Response. During the, the three academic years, I heard something about the communism. At toward the end of the time, usually he would uh, talk about the, the peasant class, about the middle class, for instance, and about the bourgeoisie class. That, uh, de la classe bourgeoise. From my recollection, voilà ce dont je me souviens. questioned. Question. Were you aware of the event Ça, where the police at that time, at the time of the Songkomri Niyom, that is between the 60s, that he was arrested? Avait été arrêté? Response. During the 1960s, I heard of his arrest, but I did not know the reasons for his arrest, because I departed from him in 1968. Question. You were studying in the first grade with him. Did you complete year one with him? That is the final year? Avec lui, est-ce que vous avez fini la dernière année avec lui? Response: I could not clearly recall. I believe uh, my final pas. year was complete, but je pense it, avoir fini I am ma not 100% certain on this. But surely I did a study in the final year. Mais j'ai fait des études pendant cette dernière année. President uh, Chachi sur the bench, do you have questions to be put to uh, this character witness? Mes chers collègues, est-ce que vous souhaitez poser des questions à ce témoin de moralité? Demande le président. The chamber would like now to get the floor to the co-prosecutors to put question to this character witness if they wish. You take the floor. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. And good morning, Mr. Tepsaim. Bonjour, Monsieur I have a few questions for you first. During the times that you were his student, à où vous étiez élève, où vous étiez you son élève, told the chamber about his tendency toward communism avait, as he uh, talked about the various classes, the classes of the peasants and the classes of the bourgeoisie. So, as a mathematics teacher, did he ever instruct you or guide you toward participation in the revolutionary movement? Response. At that time, toward the end of the class session, he briefly talked about this ideology, but he never encouraged students to join the movement. Thank you, says the co-prosecutor. Also, during the academic year that you studied with him, did you observe the communist movement or the Khmer Rouge movement? Was it active among the intellectuals, especially at the pre school? Uh, parmi cette communauté à l'école de Prisso. Response. Réponse. At that time, it is my understanding that there were some movements. Il y avait des I mouvements. would not be able to say how active uh, the movement were. 
vous en mesure de vous dire à quel point ces différents mouvements étaient actifs I know movements existed, Je sais qu'il y avait des mouvements, how they were, I mais je ne serais pas en would mesure be able uh, to de say so. vous parler plus à même de... Euh, je ne serais pas à même de vous en parler. Thank you, says the co-prosecutor. Merci, dit le co-procureur. When you were his pupil, lorsque vous étiez son was you élève, a good leading student? Est-ce que vous étiez un bon élève? Response. Réponse. At that time, my academic performance was à average. Mes notes étaient moyennes. Thank you, Mr. Tipsam. I do not have uh, any more questions for you, but my colleagues would ask you some questions with the President's leave. The President, the International Co-Prosecutor, you may now proceed with your questioning. Mr. Desmael, thank you, Mr. President. Monsieur, bonjour. Donc, quelques questions très courtes à vous poser également. Est-ce que l'accusé avait une autorité naturelle vis-à-vis -vis de ses étudiants Est-ce qu'il était donc naturellement respecté Et est-ce que son autorité aurait été un jour contestée par l'un de ses élèves Response. During the three-year academic period, the student-teacher relationship was in such a situation that students did not question the authority of the teacher. However, the relationship was smooth. And because also he regarded us almost in the Et same status or equal status to him as being a teacher. En sorte, le même statut que lui qui était enseignant. Est-ce qu'il vous accordait ce Mr. même statut que lui parce qu'il était un très jeune enseignant et donc il était très proche de ses élèves young student, uh, uh, teacher, correct interpreter, and therefore he was very close to his pupils Response. Yes. He gave me the oui. status and to other general students as well. He did not mind uh, us as uh, being his students. Il nous pas comme we des could uh, chit chat with him, On play around with him, and he did not mind. Avec lui et cela ne pas. Est-ce que cette proximité Mr. que vous aviez avec Desmaël, votre enseignant lui permettait en quelque sorte d'influencer sur vos opinions, sur votre façon d'être et d'étudier the closeness and the, uh, the understanding on his part is, is not uh, for me to describe. I would not know what was his uh, intention. Correspondait peut-être à des intentions, mais je ne sais pas quelles étaient ses intentions. Est-ce qu'il a été, parce que vous le connaissiez bien et pendant trois années, est-ce qu'il a été en quelque sorte un modèle pour vous et pour les autres élèves Est-ce que vous l'admiriez for the other students, did you admire him? A respond, yes. Oui. During the three-year academic années, performance and education, I can say that he is a good model for us pour moi et pour uh, during the model, three academic hein. year of teachings. Est-ce qu'à votre avis, il mettait tout en œuvre pour Mr. être admiré, Desmael, pour être aimé par ses élèves
response. He did everything. What he did was uh, meticulous in Parce terms of teaching and explaining. So uh, during uh, the teaching every year, every month, and uh, that good job make uh, him uh, a good ans, teacher and the student uh, uh, love his way of teaching. S'il était Mr. attentionné Ismail, et généreux avec ses élèves, est-ce que vous pensez que ça lui permettait d'en retirer un certain prestige, une certaine réputation, this, ainsi qu'un certain leadership au sein du groupe, as, uh, some kind of au sein des classes dans lesquelles il enseignait The witness, I do not understand your question. I do not understand your questions. Uh, uh, what do you want to ask me? Please uh, ask again. Mr. avec les élèves, notamment les élèves de classe paysannes, sans doute, uh, et d'autres également qui avaient du mal à suivre. And also le niveau, uh, est-ce que l'accusé pouvait à l'époque légitimement uh, en retirer une certaine fierté, un prestige, prestige ou même Or une certaine domination au sein de sa classe kind of le président Maître Rouge, je vous en prie. Monsieur le Président, Mr. je pense Mr. que c'est une question à laquelle le témoin aura du mal à répondre. Il n'est pas expert, il ne vous dit ce qu'il a vu, mais vous lui demandez s'il peut penser qu'il tire un bénéfice de ça. Comment voulez-vous qu'il le sache Vous avez posé des questions aux experts psychiatres, c'était à eux qu'il fallait les poser, mais pas aux témoins. Monsieur le Président, je vais reformuler la question. Uh, question. Le fait justement d'être attentif et généreux envers les élèves, le mettait-il, selon vous, en position d'être écouté, apprécié et de vous influencer A response, uh, yes. What he did uh, just oui. had the impact on the students that make de, them like him and like uh, his teaching when he uh, is teaching a private course. Aussi ses cours and he did not make any uh, encouragement, but it When we just the get the information, we Et voluntarily go to his class. À quoi que ce soit, mais nous allions de notre plein gré à ses cours. J'aurais une dernière Mr. question, Monsieur. I have a last question. Concernant les relations avec ses supérieurs, les, re les relations de l'accusé avec ses supérieurs. Est-ce qu'à un moment donné, il aurait fait faire à ses élèves des choses pour plaire à ses supérieurs hiérarchiques, dans le but de faire plaisir au directeur de l'établissement ou à d'autres collègues Respond, yes, uh, normally uh, at that time it's not uh, only him or other teachers. Um, they would like the students to pay respect 
uh, during the three-year education, um, every one of us respect uh, the teacher more than what we have now. Les enseignants et c'était plus fort à l'époque qu'aujourd'hui. Je vous remercie, Monsieur. Je n'ai plus d'autres questions, Monsieur le Président. I have no further questions, Mr. President. The President, uh, I noticed that Alangwina is on his feet. Please, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you, <coughs> Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. So this is a new request. And we do, the civil party lawyers, we do request that you, Mr. President, tell this witness that the reason why the civil parties are not there is because they do not understand the decision which do not authorize the lawyers to ask to this witness any questions. Thank you, Mr. President. No, uh, the president, uh, Alangwena, you seem to have uh, made the repetitive statement. Are you the person, uh, the kind of person like that? Uh, we are not a repetitious on this matter, and we will not uh, allow you to raise this matter again. The, the accused uh, can get ill. You have just. Uh, listen to the ways uh, raised by uh, witness Susat. She uh, mentioned that following the suggestion of Mr. François Roux. Do you wish to allow a visit of Susat uh, to you? The accused, Mr. President, uh, both of us, we are friends. We uh, separated for quite a long time, and we would like to uh, meet each other. And please, with Julie, I would like to request that uh, we would like to meet. The President, the trial chamber uh, permit Susat uh, to pay visit to the accused, and uh, we are recommended, uh, recommend uh, the official court official to make the arrangement ne necessary for that uh, visiting. And the trial chamber uh, hereby uh, announced that uh, we will give you the floor to make the observation to the six character witness at the conclusion of the four witnesses. And now it is time for lunch break. The trial chamber uh, is adjourned for lunch break. And the hearing uh, will start uh, one thirty in the afternoon. And the trial chamber is uh, grateful and appreciate to Mr. Uh, Witness and your testimony is not uh, completed yet and uh, there will be more questions from the defense counsels. Therefore, the trial chamber invites you to come into the courtroom again from 1.30 afternoon, 1.30 afternoon, so that the defense counsel can pose question to you. The security uh, to take uh, the accused to the de detention facility and uh, bring him back uh, before 1.30 this afternoon. All rise.